welcome to another video. I wanted to film today because we have our squad photo shoot. I cheer for the Atlanta Falcons and just made the team for a third year. And so we have like our squad photo shoot tonight, but today I like work all day. Also for those of you who don't know, I'm in medical sales, so I kind of make my own schedule. So on days where I have Falcon stuff, like in the evening or afternoon, I like really try to front load my day and get a lot of stuff done in the morning. Kind of what I'm gonna be doing today. I just worked out downstairs. Usually, if I don't do Orange Theory, which I do Orange Theory like three times a week, I will just go downstairs and lift weights. I'm about to take my greens. I've definitely gotten better at it. Like I've gotten more used to it. I started taking greens probably like two months ago, but it's still not a delectable taste by any means. And for those of you that don't know, my trick to taking greens Mix it with something yummy tasting, like something familiar that like you know tastes good. Just to give it a little bit of uh, good flavor because this tastes like not good. All right, and then the scoop will do it. You also just can't look at it. Mix it on up, make it a little bit more bearable. And chug. Oh. <sighs> I usually try and wait like 30 minutes after taking the greens because you're supposed to like let it sit and line your stomach. I think I'm going to get dressed, do some work before I leave, and then make coffee, oatmeal, and then head out the door. dreams are made of this is like my most ideal morning routine I'll make breakfast eat it out here open up my laptop answer any emails that came in either late last night or early this morning and then confirm all the places that I need to go today usually I have like a routing schedule where I hit all of my targets or go to all my customers so today I'm doing a certain area it's pretty close by which worked out since I have to cut out early and so I'll kind of go through the list of when I went there last time in either places that I didn't have time to go to or they were unsuccessful or like whatever I'll just go through my notes from the previous week so yeah that's what I'm about to do now and also the last Last day of the period is tomorrow. I'm 100% to quota, which is very nice. So kind of helps with the stress. The last two days of the period, like you're a little bit more relieved. You're like, oh, okay, I hit quota. You know, what can I do to prepare for next month and how can I get ahead? So that's what's going on. I'm gonna do that, eat my oatmeal, drink my coffee, and then we'll hit the road. Also, I am trying to strengthen my sales skills. And it's funny, cause like, I feel like this goes for any job. When you first get a job, at least in sales, like they don't really teach you sales skills. Like they teach you about the job, the product, your day-to-day -day tasks, your quota, all of, like the necessities, but they don't teach you sales skills. But there's this girl that I follow on Instagram. I found her, I think on TikTok or something. And she owns her own like entrepreneurial type company where she teaches people sales skills. And she has a course and I'm like so tempted to take it because I'm like, I can listen to all the podcasts and read all the books all day, but I want someone to kind of like pick me apart and be like, okay, you are good at this, but like this area needs work. Like I kind of want that like coaching, but yeah, basically I just want to always be improving. I never want to like be stagnant and be like complacent with where I'm at. Um, so <laughs> that sounds very cheesy. Anyways, I'm going to get to work and stop rambling and I'll see y'all later. 
Hello, it's a lot of hours later, almost two now, which actually worked out great because that's when I was hoping to be done. So now I think I'm gonna go grab some lunch at Kava, Kava, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never been, which I don't know how I still have not been, but it's like every time I wanna go, I'm just like, ugh, I don't feel like trying something new. You know, and so I always just end up getting like Chipotle or Jersey Mike's or any of my like staple lunch places. Okay, I'm recording this on my phone because my camera battery died, but just picked up the goods. I ended up just mobile ordering because the line was out the booty. And also I was just so stressed because it was my first time there. It's just easier and less overwhelming to just order online and then walk in and pick it up. I got the half greens, half greens bowl. And I think it's like white rice and romaine is what I got. And then grilled chicken, vegetables, feta, red pepper hummus, and then tahini Caesar. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking good. And then a side of pita bread, of course, because why not? Also gonna drink a Alani New. This is, I think, my favorite flavor, mimosa. But anyways, I'm gonna eat this, do a little bit more work, and then probably start getting ready. It's almost three, and I have to leave by five. And my hair is looking like this. I also want to self tan. Lots to do. So I'm gonna inhale this and then we're gonna start getting ready. Okay, a couple hours later, I just curled the crap out of my hair. So it's like very Shirley Temple like right now. I did shower again, like just a quick body shower to like exfoliate and then self tanned a little bit. I just did like two coats of loving tan. I think it looks decent. Um, I didn't do my back because the pictures are just like of your front side. And I didn't do my feet either because we're wearing boots. But anywho, update on the kava. So freaking good, like 12 out of 10. I don't know where I've been and why I haven't gotten it yet. Highly, highly recommend. But I wanted to kind of go through my normal like Falcons makeup just because I feel like I finally have it kind of down pack after two years of doing this i figured out like what's worked but also this is different kind of makeup because it's for a photo shoot so we're always advised to like not wear like super glowy like shimmery makeup which i don't normally the only thing that i usually do that shimmery is like highlighter i'm still gonna do a little bit just because i've done it and it doesn't look terrible but i'm not gonna do as much as i normally would so the only lashes i have two right now are these Ardell light as air ones and I'm hoping that they show up good in pictures. I think they will. They're really pretty. I've never tried these before, but I'll let you know how I like them. Okay, we're gonna first start with this setting spray. I've been using this since dance competition days, like in middle school. It's the MAC Fix Plus. It works really well in like gripping my makeup. First, I'm gonna wet my beauty blender real quick. And then I'll usually just press it in with the beauty blender just to kind of spread it around. All right, and then let that dry for a second. Usually for game day, I go pretty matte because obviously we sweat a lot during the game and so it gets pretty oily with the sweat and the oils in my face. If I wear like liquidy makeup, it would just melt right off, like even with setting spray. So I usually try to stay pretty matte with foundation. And then also for photo shoot, we try to stay pretty matte because of like the lighting and editing, it just like works better. So this is actually what I've been using the past like couple of years, even since college game day. It's super matte and looks really good on the skin. It's literally from Ulta for like $12. I think you can also get it from Target too, but it's Revolution Conceal and Define foundation and it's like liquid, but it dries pretty matte and it's very full coverage. Usually in between F10 would be my normal day color and then F11 would be more for game day, like when I have a spray tan and everything. I'm not super tan right now, so I think I'm gonna actually mix the two. Also, do y'all put concealer on before or after foundation? Because I've seen people do both. I've always grown up doing it before foundation. I feel like that's kind of how I was taught, but then I see people doing it like after. So I'm gonna, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna do concealer after and I'm a little scared. I don't know, so we'll see. But also, I am not that amazing at makeup. Like I can do my own makeup and I can make it look pretty good, but like, you may think it looks like crap. I don't know a lot of different techniques. Like I've always just kind of like been a tried and true kind of gal, like whatever works, I pretty much stick with. So yeah, I'm just gonna mix these two. I look like a Dalmatian and then just go to town blending it in like so. 
I feel like the key to making your foundation look good is like really making sure that it's blended in. It smells really good. I just cleaned it the other day. So it smells like that lavender beauty blender soap wash, whatever it's called. And then also making sure you get like in the crevices right there. I feel like sometimes I miss those and then I look crazy in pictures. Usually I would also do the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter underneath foundation. But since we're having to do a matte look today, I'm going to stay away from it, unfortunately. Even though I absolutely love it. I'm trying to get my hands on like the full size one because I just got like the mini size maybe a month or two ago to try out. And I'm obsessed, but I can't find that shade in the big boy anywhere. Even on like Revolve and Nordstrom, like it's nowhere. Okay, I think that looks decent. Now I'm gonna try concealer over foundation. I'm so scared about this. Like I don't see how this works, but we're gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna blend this in now. Okay, I think I like it. Just kind of like brightens it up. This side. saw a tip from an influencer do your concealer up like this so it like snatches your eyes back but I don't really know if that does anything and I think I'm gonna go back over with this side of the sponge that I put my foundation on just to kind of blend it a little bit because I feel like it looks a little scary all right moving on I think I'm gonna stick with the cream bronzer that I've been doing lately okay I can never really do it even Looks like I have like a beard going on. I'll usually go kind of up around and then I'll usually do this right here. Really just blend that in. Okay. I'm literally gonna walk into like the actual mirror and be like, okay, what the heck did I just do? Because I've never done my makeup like with the camera. Obviously I have a mirror right here but it's just not the same. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna do like the smallest amount of this Iconic London Illuminator. A little goes a long way. All you need is like the littlest amount. So now I know why it's $40 because a little, like that's literally all you need. Goes a very, very long way. Blend that in. Don't want it all the way up there. I don't know what I'm doing. In college, we did like glitter for game day. And so we did like glitter all over here. If I have it, I'm just like, oh, let me take it all the way upstairs. But no, I don't need to do that. And then I use Tarte blush. It's just like a pretty matte blush in Seduce. If there was only one makeup item I could use for the rest of my life, I think it would either be mascara, just because that's like the most face changing makeup product, you know, because when you have lashes, it's just like game changer. So yeah, I think it would probably be mascara first and then honestly, probably blush. I freaking love blush. It's just so pretty having rosy cheeks. I don't know. I love it. I kind of go a little ham on it. So I have to tone it back. All right, that's it for face makeup. Pretty simple, I feel like, I think. I think that's pretty simple. Because I don't use powder or anything. I'll only put powder on to touch up like in the middle of games. All right, next I'm going to use this Naked 3 Mini palette. It's my favorite makeup palette of all time. I feel like I've bought every single one of the like big Naked palettes and I always end up using like four or five colors and like don't touch the other ones. But this palette, I use every single color. Obviously this one the most, but I use every single one of these colors. I'm just gonna take this color, Public, and go all over my eyelids. And then I use this color, Right Time, just like a matte brown color, and I put it in my creases. Next for brows, I just use, it's really old, Anastasia Anastasia, however you pronounce that name, brow pencil. I have this kind too that I got, I think as a birthday gift, like the Sephora birthday, maybe last year, it's like the brow whiz. Or no, I think this came as a sample for an online order or something, I don't know, but I don't really use it because I like the pencil better. Really just like filling in sparse, spaces i don't really draw hairs that like aren't there but i draw where they're supposed to be sometimes when i shave my face um like 
peach fuzz and stuff like dermaplaning i have like gotten a few hairs in the past and they just like won't grow back so just make them a little thicker you see the difference do this guy over here all right and then i use this clear brow gel it's just the sephora brand it's like 12 bucks this just keeps them in place that's it for brows I feel like sometimes I look a little crazy like before I do lashes. We're gonna do lashes next, but first I'm gonna just take this white eyeshadow and go right under my brow line just to kind of lift them up a little bit. Okay, and that's that. Time for the fun part, lashes. I hate doing them, but I love having them. Why do I have three pairs of tweezers in here? Like, where did all these come from? I'm confused. I think it's because I keep buying them because I think that I, like, lost them. But in reality, they're in the bottom of my makeup bag. Just chilling. Okay, here we go. I hope that this kind works. Oh, it comes with, like, a mini glue. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute. I don't know if you can tell. It's so cute compared to this one. Mom and daughter. So cute. I'm gonna use my big eye though. Also a pro tip that I learned, I kind of like randomly taught myself last year. I didn't do it on purpose. I found that my lashes look better and like look more natural when I curl them and put mascara on before putting on my lashes. Cause I know some people put on mascara like after they put on lashes, but I don't know why they just look so much more natural when I put mascara on before. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna curl them real fast. This is like my holy grail mascara lash princess by essence i think it's like five or six bucks like it is very cheap from ulta target cbs you can get essence products anywhere i'm just gonna apply like one coat of this sorry for my scary face yeah that is that now for the real fun i let it dry for like 20 seconds, let it get kind of tacky, and then we'll put it on. I feel like that's key. I feel like my mom growing up as a kid, she would put them on immediately because she didn't know the trick. I think it even says, yes, it says wait 30 seconds, and she would always just stick it on, and it would just be sliding over for like five minutes, and I'm like, oh gosh, the competition days. Don't miss them. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this in the actual mirror, or I will definitely mess it up, so one second. All right, now for the right side. Okay, now the glue has dried, and the final product i think it still needs to dry a little bit more because they're still kind of white they don't look like completely right until i do eyeliner all around i just use the cake pencil by kat von d it's like the only eyeliner that actually lasts like all day last but not least i'm going to go back over with more eyeshadow because i never have enough eyeshadow i feel like this also helps cover up any glue that like gets on my eyelids and then I also do a little bit of white, like in the inner corner, just to help brighten it up a little bit. I think that's all that I'm gonna do, honestly. I have to put on red lipstick, cause that's the color that we wear, but I think I'm gonna wait and do that at the field. I am notorious for getting red lipstick on my teeth and like underneath my chin and everywhere. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna wait and do it at the field, just to make things easier. I also need to put in my earrings, um, and that's it. I think I'm gonna touch my hair up little bit honestly it doesn't look terrible i need to like obviously brush through it and then like kind of straighten and tease the roots but other than that i think we're good to go i actually finished getting ready a little bit earlier than anticipated so i'm gonna leave right around 5 10 and it's like 4 55 right now so i have a little bit of time so i think i'm gonna eat a snack real quick and then head to the bins <laughs>
got my shoe. I just pulled up to the promised land, Carje, because I'm really not hungry for like a meal, but I don't really have snacks at home. So I'm thinking of getting something snacky, maybe some cookie dough or halo top or something. We'll see where the aisles take us, but yeah, I'm gonna grab something here and then go home, take off all my makeup and probably watch Jake's game and do a little bit of work. We're finally back home. I got the goods. I ended up just getting cookie dough and halo top. I have not had halo top in probably like a year. I feel like I was such an ice cream person like back in college. I would literally eat a container of halo top like every single night <laughs> in college. But I don't know, ice cream just doesn't do it for me anymore. The only time I will eat ice cream now is like with a warm brownie or cookie or something. But yeah, just gonna make this and probably take off my makeup in a minute. But yeah, pretty chill night tonight. I'm excited for these crease. <laughs> All right, she's definitely not the prettiest, but we'll definitely still inhale this whole bowl in two seconds. All right, I just changed out of my clothes, body showered, and then just took off my makeup. Um, sorry, I'm watching Jake's game. He just pitched. He did great. So let me pause this or turn it down one second. But I just took off all of my makeup, washed my face, brushed my teeth, floss, mouthwash, all of that, put in my retainer. So, sound kind of funny, but what I use to take off my makeup is like really, really bad. I just use makeup wipes <laughs> to get off like the first layer of makeup. Cause like once you put like setting spray and like heavy foundation, like it's hard just to get off with this stuff. Um, sorry, I have a list, it's so annoying. Then I use Clinique, take the day off cleansing balm and you just like wet your face and then take some of that. I need to get another one and just kind of like massage around to really get like the mascara off because i do wear waterproof mascara so it's harder to get off and then wash my face with skin medica facial cleanser and i double cleanse i've been on that like new wave of double cleansing and let me tell you it makes a difference so make sure you double cleanse it's as easy as it sounds wet your face wash your face wet your face again and then wash your face again and then rinse obviously but yeah it's gonna make a huge difference because i feel like the first wash like really just gets off like the leftover makeup and then the second wash like actually cleanses my face so big fan of that honestly i have been on like a skincare journey for the past few months not that I had bad skin before, but I'm just really trying to be proactive and like protecting my skin against the sun, against aging, fine lines, like anything like that. So I've been like slowly replacing all of my skincare products with medical grade. And it's honestly really nice because one of our sponsors for Falcons is a place called Aesthetic Specialty Center in Roswell. They do like Botox, filler, facials, the whole nine yards. And obviously they have like a ton of medical grade skincare products. And so we had an event there a couple weekends ago and they were giving us Skin Medica products for 50% off, which is like insane. So I stocked up on a lot of things, got the facial cleanser and then one of the reps. So Allergan is the company that carries Skin Medica and one of the reps was there and she was like going through all of the products and she was saying like this is the holy grail of anti-aging and it's called tns advanced serum and she said it's basically like a protein shake for your face you just need one pump so it looks like that that's the first thing i put on my face after i wash it and i mainly just focus on areas like my under eyes and then my forehead. And I kind of just like lift it up and smooth it throughout. Yeah, I have been loving this stuff. I've only been using it for about two weeks now and I swear I've seen a difference already. Use it morning and night. Next, I use a retinol. This is like one of two products that I have that aren't medical grade, so I'm like, I said I was like slowly replacing because like this stuff is not cheap. Like good quality skincare is going to be expensive because you get what you pay for. But yeah, this is just the retinol. It looks like this. And so you just push it down and a little pea size amount comes out and that's all you need. And I focus again on areas like my T-zone, my nose, and then just kind of smear it around. And I always use either my middle finger or my ring finger. 
just to be very nice and gentle. Definitely when you first start using retinol, I recommend using it like once every three days, like just starting, because your face does get a little bit more sensitive to the sun when you do use a retinol, but now I use it every single night. Next, I'm gonna use also Skin Medica, also TNS, and it's the Eye Illuminating Cream. You don't need a lot, just like a pea-sized amount for both eyes. That's what's also going to help your expensive skincare last longer is using the appropriate amounts. Sometimes less is more. And so I just use it right under my eyeballs, take it all the way up to the orbital bone. And then next, this is my favorite skincare product ever. I've only been using it for about a week now. I use it twice a day, morning and night. This stuff has changed my skin. I have super, super dry skin, but HA5. Get your hands on it. I think it is sold like on Blue Mercury, any kind of like skincare website like that. And you can always usually find like a discount code online or like sign up your email for like 15% off or something. I think I'm just like naturally frugal like that. I will never like get something without using a discount code. <laughs> That's just me. So it says for all skin types, this clinically tested rejuvenating hydrator blends five forms of hyaluronic acid that work synergistically to enhance the look and feel of skin. The weightless, silky finish immediately softens and smooths skin, continuing to hydrate and refresh throughout the day. I mean, immediately. I felt my skin and I'm like, my skin has never felt like this before. Like it is, it's insane. So I just do one pump and you're supposed to like wet your fingers a little bit before using it. And then I just put it on everywhere, like almost like lotion. And then you always want it smooth down to your neck and decolletage. And yeah, amazing. Silk, literally feels like silk going on your skin. I'm obsessed. I will never go without that ever again in my life. Like insane. And then last but not least, a little bit of moisturizer. And then I mainly focus moisturizer like on my ears and down my neck. I don't know if anyone else has like a weirdly dry neck like I do, but I don't know. I also feel like my skin is very dry when I use heavy makeup and like setting spray and like the whole nine yards because obviously taking makeup off. I try not to like rub it with makeup wipes, but like you gotta get it off so it can get kind of irritated. But anyways, put everything back in my skincare fridge and then Second to last thing, I use this eyelash serum. I've had two of these and they've lasted me a year and a half. So you don't need a lot, you just need one swipe for each eyelid. Last but not least, Laneige Lip Mask in vanilla flavored. So good. I need a lot of this, especially after wearing red lipstick because I also have to like scrub that off. But yeah, that is it. We are now all ready for bed. I'm going to, I guess, finish watching Jake's game. He already pitched, but it's actually a good game, so I'll probably finish watching it. Usually I don't watch his games if he's not like hot, which means he doesn't have the chance to go in, like he's not available. But yeah, it's 10.30 now, so I'm probably gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Hopefully I record enough to be interesting. I didn't record a lot at the shoot just because it was pretty quick. Like we showed up, changed, got our uniforms, and then took our picture. Kind of went about our day. So yeah, it was a great day and hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you wanna see in future videos and I will see y'all soon. Bye.